Welcome to the Cole and Dre Podcast. I'm Cole. And this is Dre. What up, world? We're back. Time been a minute. So, we got a few things we're going to talk about today. Um, one that's kind of near and dear to myself. Hold on, uh, hold on before we get started, man. Happy 51st birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? You just hey, had a birthday, man. Old, yeah, you out there. I just said we weren't going to say that. Don't, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a good look, man. You just going to fuck up my birthday shout out like that? <laughs> Boy, that's cold. That's cold. It was, it was a you good look. You've been partying all motherfucking weekend, man. Huh. You back at work now, man. What's up? You good? I'm good, man. Okay. I tell you what, I gained about 10 pounds over the weekend. Uh, I would say look like it. Uh, yeah, it does. I'm telling you. Saying. So, did you? I don't but know. I, you, I heard you was running sprints earlier, so did you Did you run it off? <laughs> <laughs> you cool. <laughs> you cool? Um, yeah, it was a quick sprint. I was. I, was, I, I did run it. Okay, right? okay. That's awesome. You stay you know shooting slugs. I'm so. just saying, So, man. <laughs> that was an unwanted sprint. But anyway. Hey, um, you still got it. Did you, eat, did you eat any of those cupcakes, man? No, I didn't get any cupcakes. I, I had the wings. To, the wings were amazing. I swear to God, those are the best cupcakes. I ever. didn't get no cupcakes. I had the wings though. I ate. I, I'm not even a sweet person, man. Those cupcakes was. Oh my god. Who made them? I can't even think of the lady. Oh, no, so you can't she even give them a shout out. She had putting cupcakes. Oh mm. my god. I ate about seven. I wonder was it. I wonder was mm. my homie Cake Lady. Cake Lady make a banana pudding cupcake. That shit fire. So I don't know. I don't know. Her name Tasha. Okay, I don't know. No, no. Yeah, Tasha. Shout out to Tasha. Well, shout out to Cake Lady, too. What up, girl? Well, shout out to Cake Lady. Tasha, <laughs> you tougher than Cake Lady. I, I don't know Cake Lady tough, hey, man. She Tasha, I'm going to have you and Cake Lady have a bake-off. <laughs> yeah, let's I, have I, a I bake got off. confidence you're going to win, Tasha. Hey, Cake Lady with the shit now. Uh, okay. Cake Lady with the shit. Shout out to the homie, man. She fuck around. Hey, I ain't got nothing against her. I'm just telling huh? you. I'm not sure, but I just know it's Cake Lady. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know her baby father, so, I mean, I don't know her brother, but yeah. Okay. So, okay. So let me tell you real quickly, man. So I have realized I'm too goddamn old for a three day working, three day birthday weekend. That's never gonna happen again. Bing, 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 bing. That's never gonna happen again. As a matter of fact, it turned from three to four. Cause we did Friday, we did Saturday, we did Sunday, and we did Monday. Hmm. So Monday was a holiday. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Fake so ass I didn't know either. But uh, we we stayed out at the at the beach house all day on Monday, and um, it was a pretty good look. What you think, Trav? Man, that's a yeah, it, was, okay. it was a good look, man. I mean, I didn't. It, we was we were directly on the water, and it was a little cool at first. But I guess when everybody started coming, it, it just the body heat. I guess you think that's what it was, Travis? Maybe the temperature warmed up. <laughs> it was kind of warm on Sunday. No, because it was at nighttime. So we had we had a game night. We played spades. We played dominoes. Right. We played Connect Four, Monopoly. I kicked ass in Connect Four all night long. I mean, it was ridiculous, <laughs> man. It was just. Shout out to all the losers on the connect for me. <laughs> I'm tough. I'm sorry, man. That's I'm what's tough. up, man. Tall, tall, See, when you, when you get up in age, man, you have uh, game night parties, man. That's dope. I can't wait to have my game night party, Yeah, it was party, a good man. look, man. That's it was dope. a good look. And, you know, we stayed out there all night, and uh, it was just a good look. That's what's up. I enjoyed that more than anything. But let's get what's to up? the topic at, at hand. What we got? What we got? What we got? So, for you guys that's in the city of this H-Town, y'all seen, um, we got it. So, there's, let me give you guys a scenario. Guy, it pulls up to the ATM machine with his girl. In this case, it's his wife. So he pulls up to the ATM machine, and Dre pulls his gun on him. Not this, not just not hypothetical, this Dre, right, no, right, not right, right. But pulls his gun on 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 the man wife, and demands money. They give him the money they have, and the guy gets out. The guy runs off. The guy, the 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 guy whose wife it was, he gets out of the car runs behind him and he starts shooting at him and he ends up killing a nine-year-old girl. Um, and he, I think at this point he's being charged with aggravated assault. They're trying to upgrade it to murder uh, because they said the once little girl you died, run away, I think. right, the little girl nine-year-old died. little girl died. Uh, rest in peace to her and, condolences, and condolences, condolences to her, to her and family. family. And, and, you know, it's a very sad situation because both parts, I watched her mother on the news, I watched her father on the news, and um, the dad looked like he was just helpless because he couldn't do anything. The mother was just inconsolable. I mean, nobody wants to bury and, their uh, own kid, I'm sure. And I felt for both people. So it right. was like I understood the guy because that could have been me. If you if you was robbing me and my wife and I, and I come to shoot at you and I end up killing somebody, I would be, you know, I would feel horrible about it. But I just don't know. I don't think that's murder. And what what do you think about that? You know, I know we normally have feel good, fun topics, but I'm just curious. Like, this is something that's really been I've been struggling with. So what do you think on this? I mean, 
murder. Like I said, I don't know all the elements of what you know the the murder charge consists of. Whatever, I don't know all the the the, the elements you need to be charged with murder. But you know, definitely, you know, it's one of them things where it's like. You know, I, I'm an advocate for firearms. Like I, you know, I I agree with people having firearms, but I also don't agree with people not being reckless with firearms. Makes sense. Like you know, what I'm saying, I'm not. That makes sense. I mean, I mean, I understand he got robbed, but I mean, I, I you can't go off just you know. In my opinion, just my opinion. Like I said, in my opinion. Hope everything work out. But in my opinion, I just feel like you know, if I'm gonna fire my firearm, I need to see my target hit my target. I shouldn't be aiming or you know firing up aimlessly into the night. If you know I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think he thought the guy got into the truck, and I right. think he was directly shooting at the truck. Right. So there have been multiple, you know, different right. news sources that say different right. things. Uh, but I think he actually was uh, fired at the truck because right. he thought the guy got in the truck. I mean, he's definitely going to be charged with some some kind of reckless, whatever it is. Right. But as I mean, of right now, it's aggravated assault with a right, right, right. Well, it's definitely going to go because a little girl dies. So I mean, no telling what that charge is. Definitely got to go. Should it be murder? Should it be murder? Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Right now, today, I don't think so because I don't know the elements. What it you know consists of being charged with murder. So I don't know that part of the law. But you know, for me, like it's more reckless than anything. So whatever that reckless charge is, for you just fire your firearm off, I think that should be you know to, in my mind would be more appropriate. And you know, hopefully the family sees that as justice. Like you know, what I'm saying, but you know, should he get away with it? Uh, don't know. I don't I, know. I mean, you. That's a it's a hard one. Like I said, if it was my daughter, I might feel something different. Like you know, what I'm saying I'd probably be fucked up by it if it was my child. But since it's not my child, and so just speaking just, from let's a, just look at it. If you know, it's your child, let's just be because we just got through talking about being objective. I'm biased. <laughs> I'll be, I'm biased. <laughs> I'm not gonna have an understanding for it. I hope he don't go to jail if it's my child. Right. And right. I feel that way. Right. I feel that way. Like because that's I don't not think gonna, I could be. I think a part of me may be able to say objectively, you didn't try that. But but right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and right. So I, if it was me, if it was my child, I hope he didn't go to jail. I would hope he would still be on the streets. That's a you know, and and, and I think for me it's, it's it's tricky because I I can be objective, and if I look at it from an objective standpoint, I'm saying to myself, well, I know you didn't try that. And yeah, but I don't I, know how I personally I can't say how I would totally feel. I know right. how you saying it. Right. But I mean, I know this was not your intent. Right. And I know that the position you in, I could have been in that same that? position. What movie was that? Man, he killed dude's son. He told the dude I wasn't gonna kill you, but you know, he ended up getting him killed anyway. He said, I'm not gonna kill you, but then another dude came and shot him. That was in Narcos. Was that Narcos? Yeah, that, that happened dude's son? in Narcos. Yeah, he killed dude's son. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to kill you. But yeah, he, just... he went got back in the car and told him to go kill that piece. Right, <laughs> right. So that's, you know, that's, that's you know, hey, <laughs> hey. So you going to call DJ K-Tron. Go yeah, over there and kill him, you Travis. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just talking shit for real. But that was one of them things, man. It's a touchy subject both ways. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? You know, the motherfucker that robbed him, he should be the motherfucker to murder. I don't yeah, fucking they know. They haven't found him. Yeah, so they I should think, get his I right now. they find him. I think they're they're gonna charge him with the murder. Right, as they should. Um, Cause but, if they charge the motherfuckers with you know selling motherfuckers heroin and charging them with murder for delivery of the heroin to the motherfucker, that's the same thing. Fuck, you shouldn't have robbed the motherfucker. So yeah, get his ass. I, I mean, that's just you so. Know. So look, that that leads us to another subject then, because I think the other subject. But hold on, I'm gonna say one thing. What? If you a gun owner, know how to shoot your fucking gun. Even if you out in the streets doing the wild shit, not supposed to have, learn how to shoot, man. Y'all out here busting these aimless ass shots, not hitting nothing. Learn how to shoot, man. That's all I gotta say. So, but you got to realize. So let's talk about that because being a gun owner in Texas, we in we in the great state of Texas. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? so I'm gonna go back to Scarface, knocking dicks in the dirt with just this one finger. That's not, that's not a good line. <laughs> I know what a good but, line. <laughs> that's fucked up. But, right. but on the real, man, I mean, like, I, I'm all for I'm all for uh, having a weapon. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm, I'm, for, I'm for I'm for having a weapon. But like I said. Know how to use your weapon. Understand your weapon. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even as black people, man, we know we try to teach our kids to stay away from guns, but if you have guns in the house, give your kids a lesson on guns, man. Well, like, I, I think everybody, if you're going to have firearms around, train everybody in firearms. Like, you should know how to operate a gun. You should know how to work a gun. You should know how to shoot a gun. You know how to, I mean, if you're going to have a gun, know about your gun. Learn everything about your gun. Do everything you can do as far as training-wise to be prepared to use this gun, you know, house this gun, transport this gun, whatever, you know, gun safety is very, very important. I agree. So how do you feel about the fact that once you're a convicted felon, you lose the right to carry a firearm? I hate it. I hate I, it. I, I, I think that's totally unfair because now you're saying I've made a mistake and I don't, 
especially if it's not a violent crime. Right. Like I said, and I, now I, you're you're saying I don't have the right to protect my family or my, myself or my family, but everybody's around here carrying a gun. Yeah, Texas, Texas is pretty tough, man. Like I said, you know, I would love to be, you know, to change that law if I could, you know, I, I would, that would be one of the first laws. I would change. I think it maybe it's you know it's a step. We you know a process to get them back. Like right now, it's like it's an open and shut case. Like you can't have it. Don't be around them. Don't be around nobody with them. Like you know what I'm saying. I think we if we gonna be advocate for guns and like you know allow other motherfuckers to have them. It should be all the way even, around. Even kill. Yeah, I think it should be even for even yeah. playing field. That's just my opinion. So because some I, motherfuckers I, ain't funds that got guns should have guns. So you know I'm very aware of what a gun does. So I, you know I feel like I'm a responsible gun owner if I you know. So I, I think if, from based on this case, I haven't heard, you know, one of the first things you hear on the news when something happens is this guy has a criminal history that goes back decades yeah. or this is not his first time yeah. being and you know, it's, with and, the and, law. And, 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 you know, it's and a black said dude. None of that. And you know, it's a black dude. You know yeah, he's it's black, black but, but they've not said one time that he didn't have a, a, a firearm. He didn't have a concealed weapons permit. Right. So I'm going to have to assume he did. Um, they haven't said anything about him having a criminal history. But you don't need a permit now, so people with concealed handgun license, they don't even need them no more because he did. Uh, Governor Abbott did away with the law, right. so you You're don't correct. even need that yet. So, so you can in Texas, problem. all you got to do is just go to Academy yeah. or Walmart and buy you something, and you come out of there busting. <laughs> wow, wow, <laughs> West. Kind of <laughs> wow, wow, West. No, that's what it is, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like I said, I'm not against I, You know, I... I love the law. I mean, I'm not against it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I right, just I'm wish all that, for it. I just wish it was even playing field for everybody, so that's all. And... Learn how to use your phone. So, Learn how to use so, phone. so, and you say because you're right because now you don't even have to have a concealed weapons no. permit. At least at that point, you had to go to the uh, the shooting range, yep. the, the gun range, and do some form of training, even yep. if it was, um, what was it? I, I I actually did it prior to becoming a convicted felon. <laughs> I actually had a concealed weapons permit. I, I just, no longer. I just have I just had a concealed happen. weapon. I had no permit. I just had a concealed weapon. Oh, you just had to consider. No, yeah, I had the permit. Someone. I went and got the whole permit. <laughs> I just now. had the weapon. Yeah, so I had I had the whole permit. But I wasn't a felon at the time, so I was you weren't a felon at no. the time, right? So okay, <clears throat> but so I think they should go through some form of real training, and I think the training should be video. Uh, that way, you need to pull up your video. <laughs> now, if you at the video with your gun range, that's hard to manipulate. <laughs> we got to do something about this window, yo, because dude just walked by with his wet wipes and his <laughs> <laughs> We got to do something about this window. <laughs> I can't be seeing that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't saying that. You the shit master over there. You got the best shitter in the system. I, goddamn, you eat a Starburst, that motherfucker going out. You tough. I wish I had your system. I ain't lying. He eat a, that nigga eat a Starburst, he shit. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Was it. Just I was like, damn, got the way. <laughs> really? So you going to sit here and tell everybody, hey, Al, he just told everybody you took a shit. <laughs> No, you just told everybody else to shit. <laughs> man, we on a serious, we on a serious topic. What, here, man? man? What, man? So, I'm just saying, hey, what, we, man? So, <laughs> so, okay, um, go, man, carry on, we man. Talking, well, you know he about to come in and talk some shit. And we he ain't said said you that, disturbed man. him because you walked by the window. So in the studio over here, man, we got a glass window out here that you can see out. So when people walking by, so Al just walked by, just come back from taking a fresh shit, and he had his wipes in his hand, and it disturbed Dre that you were taking a shit. That did not disturb Dre. Took... No, that's that's what I'm saying. I just seen the wipes, and I was like, damn, he didn't. No, hear it. no, no, I'm not gonna let you do that because I feel like you're shooting a slug. They got soap in there. I got soap and hand sanitizer. I might not always have wipes. So I know he's shooting a slug. So we're oh, not okay, going to sit okay. here and talk about who's shitting and how they shit. That's not the show. We're not going to do that. So <laughs> It's part of the show. Fuck it. Yeah, okay. Because we stay on bullshit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you, would that be considered Al shit or bullshit? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that was, that's pretty good. Hey, I'm Now just, that I think about it, so yesterday... Okay, this is the last time. We're going to get back on the topic, man. I'm sorry. It's already you know, is, yeah. he, he stay on bullshit. No, he got, no, no. Y'all know who got off the subject today was him. So yesterday, I shouldn't even... This sounds so fucked up. I'm not going to do that. You always said it, then you end up fucking doing it. No, I'm not. So anyway, let's get back to the subject, man. It's going to um, be kind of hard. Basically, we're talking about... Um, 
No, we moving on. We, we we left about the guns. We moving on from the guns. We moving on from. The guns. Well, no, I mean because I I, I want to make sure because one of the things you guys haven't been doing is engaging, and I know y'all watching because I get a lot of phone calls. I mean, matter of fact, I just was on the <laughs> phone. I was just uh, on a phone call with a friend who told me he had just watched um, a podcast on growth, mm-hmm. and that's what we were talking about. And so you know, it's like you guys are watching, but y'all not engaging in the comments. So make sure y'all you guys engage in the comment because I really want to know how you feel about. Uh, the right to bear arms in the state of Texas or in the country, period. Uh, our laws are extremely laxed in, in Texas, which I'm, I'm, I'm a true fan of. But I, I'd like to know how you guys feel about that. I, I, think, it, I think it cuts down, well, I'd like to say it cuts down violence. I mean, it do because like some of the homies, they come up from down top of where places where it ain't guns. They be like, man, everybody got a gun out this motherfucker, so it ain't no running up on nobody. Like people second guess it, I guess. I don't know. I, I think I think you will second guess right, it. I mean, right. you know, unless you're just one of the ones. I'm I not. Give you a I'm perfect saying. example. So this is crazy as shit, right? Oh, you weren't at the party when I walked in, right? No, I wasn't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the entrance, okay? So I did, seen it though. Did, did you seen the entrance? Yeah, I did see it. Yeah. So the real entrance was supposed to be. I was supposed to walk in with two lions, real lions. So I Ooh, could not do that because we. you cannot walk in with two lines with a bunch of niggas in this building with guns. And, you know, obviously they, I would think, you know, I'm like, I'm we're, we're talking, having a rational conversation. I'm like, baby, if these niggas see me walk in this building with two lines, they're going to kill the lines and possibly me because I can't control these lines. And the first time this line go off over here to Dre or somebody else, somebody's going to start shooting at the line. And then they, even if they ain't trying to hit me, they're going to be so pissed off that I didn't let a damn line go. They're going to kill me. <laughs> Do you think I'm right on this train? <laughs> <laughs> that line definitely got to go. Huh? <laughs> this damn fool wanted me to walk in with two real lions. In that big ass room with all them people. In that big ass room, real lions. I'm like, I, that, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I refuse to. So instead of a lion, what did you use? We use lioness. Oh, okay. Beautiful lionesses. Could these lionesses talk? Yes. Oh, okay. What else they did? Well. Anyway, we're talking okay. about just, uh, gun ownership right. here. Gun ownership. Back so, to gun ownership. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, they know what happened. So, let's, 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 uh, you never answered the question. What was the question? What do you think would have happened if I'd have came in this room with two real lines? Oh, the line would have to go. Like, if, if they got loose like that? Well, no, not even if they got loose. What? How do you think the reaction would have been? It would have been some oohs and eyes, but I mean, I don't know. As long as they was in their place, everybody would be like, oh, shit, you know, we black folks. We moving. Like, we're going to get some space. Man, the room would have cleared out. You know what I'm saying? We moving. That's what I'm saying. Give us some space. Like, you know what I'm saying? We definitely. They would have been hitting the back door. I'd have been a little intrigued. Like, you got the motherfuckers cold. You sure you got them? <laughs> if like you know, like, and this was the thing. So. But that's possible to get two wild lines to walk in with them bitches without you know being in the cage. Well, obviously, it was a private event. We rented the whole thing, so yeah. I mean, you know, nice you motherfucker. Can do whatever the, the hell you want to do. No, no, no. I'm saying, far as the <laughs> the motherfuckers that own these lines, they're just gonna let you yo yo black ass run with like take my line to the park. Like I don't know, cause I wouldn't gonna do it. Personally. Right, that's what I'm, I'm saying. So yeah, that's what, right. I don't trust. If I was walking with a line, I would be walking with the pistols just like you. Well, let me if tell you that line. Turn, line I'm telling you, I'm holding the reins, but if you turn, I'm going to bust your goddamn head wide. I ain't over. going out like that. No, I ain't lying taking me out. No, I'm going to fight that motherfucker hard. I done seen Animal Plan enough times to know I, I'm going to fuck the line. I ain't going out like that. You I'm think not, you think you can fight the line? I'm not losing to no fucking animal. No animal. I ain't no fucking animal. No, I'm not down by no fucking animal. Man, let's no, talk no about dog, something else. No this line going to fuck you up, Dre. Man, listen, we talking about gun ownership because now you done, you done went somewhere. Because both of y'all just laid down. Oh, that line going to fuck me up. I'm going to let that bitch give me shit. That line going to grab hold of your ass like this. And hey, what the fuck you think I'm going to be doing? Why he grabbing me? You better be trying to poke him in the I'm eye. A, I'm going to bite back. I'm going to do all like. But he's going to he's going to break your shit open, Dre. Why the fuck wouldn't I bite a line? He bit me. You spoke, I would bite it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, the only thing you could possibly do, the possibly. I'm not dying by no fucking pit bull. In, 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 I'm in not dying by no fucking lion. I'm not dying by no fucking alligator. I'm not dying by no snake bite. I'm not dying by no, none of that That's shit. That's because you're not going to be in their environment. No, nigga. I'm not going out like that. I'm going to be. It's going to be a war. It's, it's going to What? If the alligator grabs your ass in this environment, you're dead. If the alligator happen. grabbed me in his environment, why would I be in the alligator environment? Exactly again? my point. Right, so this is why so, I so, did so, not bring so, so, into so, our environment. So if I encountered the alligator at the house, you do got a better chance of me and him. I would think I would hope you do. Okay, you think if I encountered the lion at your party, who got a better chance of me and him? The lion? Shit. With all them guns in that room? Is you crazy? Y'all better kill this motherfucker. If not, it's gonna be a fucking problem. <laughs> Everybody getting on it, got to. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I almost watched me get hated by a fucking line. Yeah, that would be fucked. That'd up. be fucked up. Bro, this is a high ass podcast. Let's go. I'm ready. All right. So what else we got? We're we're back. I smoke for a guy. I'm sorry. As you guys already know, we try to stay on the subject, but it never fails. Dre started talking about Al shit, and then we started getting to lions <laughs> eating people, and you know. But let's talk about the real problem here. But that's what happens. Well, it's when not you know. not the real problem. Let's talk about let's. So as I said, I need you guys to engage with us, man, and let us know how you feel about um, the Second Amendment right. Should you, is the Second is the Second Amendment to bear arms? So yeah, right to bear arms. Yep. Yeah. Is that it? You sure? Which one is freedom of speech? First one. That's the first one. Okay, good. Dre, you're a history buff. You know your amendments and shit. That's a vacation. If I'm wrong, Edgemacation. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you probably wrong, but y'all tell us about this. This nigga probably. I wrong think the first of freedom of speech, the second one is uh, right to balance. What's the fourth amendment? That's the uh, right to remain. Uh, the fifth is uh, to be quiet. The fourth is fourth the bad motherfucker too. What's the fourth amendment, nigga? Pull out your phone, Al. Oh, I'm talking to Al. I'm sorry, I wasn't talking to you, no, ma'am. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, so to see, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, they definitely consistently right. violate that one. Um, so okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, just please make sure y'all get y'all engage with us on that one. I, I want to know what you think about that. Do you think the, that the fact that we have weapons and our laws in Texas are so lax that it helps the crime rate, or do you think it hurts it? Um, uh, basically, fuck that. What do you think the world would be without weapons if only the laws had guns, like in some countries? Some countries laws don't carry guns. Nobody have them. Well, you, you got to realize their crime rate is a hell of a lot. Their murder rate is a hell of a lot less in in most European countries because they don't have the right to bear arms right. as we do. So, so. Um, but do you know why they said we had the right to bear arms? I don't know why. So the government could never oppress us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I do so a nigga come knocking at your door talking about get out, you can shoot back. Right. Got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got that. shoot back until. But yeah, they fucking impress us though. All these dumbass laws they got in place to impress us. They, they impress us. They slick as a motherfucker. So, all right, let's move on to the next one. What's the next one? What we got? So, we talked about. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the uh, the kid in Jersey. Hold on. See? I'm going to call you back, homie. See? Hey, man, I know you've been calling me all day, and I told you we're going to get together today. I'm on the podcast, and you'll see it because I answered your call. <laughs> Shout out to the homie Clean, man. I'm going to holler back. <laughs> Clean, what up? <laughs> so, um. We answer phone calls on our show. Yeah, we, I mean, sometimes we answer because I already knew he was going to call back Fuck again. It. So I just, uh, I could have turned it off. But that's, that's the homie. And I did tell him I was going to return his call like three times a day, and I hadn't. So I just chose to answer the phone right then at that time. For proof. Uh, huh? For proof. For proof, right, right. I'm <laughs> still going to call you back. So, uh. Go ahead. The, the incident in Jersey, what was that, Bridge City, New Jersey, or something like that, um, where the kids were fighting, and the police came over, and they immediately put the black kid on the ground, put their knee in his back, and set the white yeah. kid down. And I was having this conversation with, 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 with one of my partners right now, explained to him, they really didn't do anything wrong. Who didn't do anything wrong? The cops. <clears throat> mm. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's hear this You know one. why they didn't do anything wrong? Because it's based on the book I'm writing, and it's called The Power of Conditioning. When you have been conditioned to automatically fear black people or automatically look at us as criminals, you're acting upon your subconscious mind. So you weren't consciously thinking about what you did. Automatically, this nigga has to be restrained. Their subconscious mind told them this is how they need to act. So they didn't think of, they, they didn't make a conscious decision to say, let's put this kid on the ground. They didn't do that. And if you go back in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Blink, it talks about how people, even black people, when, you know, they gave people five seconds to make these decisions, you know, to, to look at a black person, look at a white person, what was he? And you had these answers. And then they would say criminal. They look at the white man in the same thing and say executive or things like that. Subconsciously, we've been programmed to believe that black people are evil. And people don't realize that now, when they gave them, took them from five seconds to 20 seconds, all the answers change. Because now you're thinking with your conscious mind. See, when you got two or three, I think it was three seconds. Mm -hmm. So when they had three seconds, three to five seconds to answer, this nigga's guilty. But now when I can think about it, my conscious mind kicks in and says, okay, well, 
let me be politically correct. Were they wrong? Absolutely. But I'm saying they weren't wrong because they were acting based on their internal belief system, which is flow. Hmm. I agree with your internal belief system. <clears throat> but if they weren't trained professionals, I would feel differently. They're trained professionals. There's so, no such thing as trained professionals. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's uh, not. Yeah. Uh, so you, uh, you're saying train professionals. So I've trained you. I've trained you to okay, act on, in a professional on, manner on, this on, way. Okay, hold on. But hold on. you you still hold have on. to go. Go ahead. But you're you're training a skill set dealing with other people. So you have the skill set of being able to identify the problem, to diffuse the situation. You've been trained to um, in self defense skills, all these different type of things. Um, some of y'all should be trained. I think some kind of, I guess what social social psychology skills or whatever. I mean, you know, what I'm saying okay. to be able to identify, but you walking up on a situation, you see one kid on top of another kid, yet you assert yourself on a kid that potentially like the victim from a distance. Nothing about that is um, should have been a a, a a a quick decision. It should have been like, okay, let's protect the person that needs to be protected in this moment, and we'll sort this out later. Now, had the black kid been on top of the white kid, I'd be like, okay, I get it. But the black kid was potentially the victim in that circumstance and you yet and still you came in overly aggressively with you know but you know this is why I'm telling you no I hear what you're saying but they had more than enough of a, of a five second window or a 20 second window they approached the situation and immediately saw a white kid on the black kid and this is why I'm telling you. This is this this. You say you heard what I'm saying. But it's the this same. Is, but you said your answer. You said at this, five seconds. No, you said at five seconds. It was one they, thing. They they never considered this white kid. Bam! They automatically no, made a snap fair. judgment. But, but I'm saying. But 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 right but, but what I'm saying. But what I'm down. saying. It wasn't a snap judgment because you're approaching the situation. There's a there's a there's a kid on the ground, that's not a threat, that's you know, being whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. So. That's the first picture you see. Unless you saw the whole picture, because if you saw the whole picture, that's even less of an excuse. So if that's the first picture you see in that snapshot of a moment, it's just, you know, there's nothing justified about that moment because you walked I'm not, up. I'm not justifying. What I'm telling you is, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say this. Guy I went to school with, he's, he's a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. Black. Mm -hmm. And he said... We were talking about this situation, and he said automatically when he sees a young black kid with dreads or nappy ass afro profile, he automatically profile. He's automatically on high alert, and I said, "Damn, you racist against us, huh?" He said, "No." He said, "It's not that I'm so much racist." He said, "When you got to realize, most of the time these are the people I'm taking to jail." Right. I said, "Damn." I never thought about it like that. And I was really pissed off with him. I, I called him a sucker and all kind of shit. He is. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of got into it. Like, no, he it, is. It, it kind of turned in a different manner that I, I hate it went to. But we, we talked it out after that, you know what I mean? And he told me I don't understand what they deal with on their side. And I told him, yeah, nigga, I don't. Because you, you, you was a sucker. Because let me, let me tell you why. Because, you know, okay, you're a trained, once again, you're a trained professional. Like, the mother of my kids, she's a police officer, but you're a trained professional. One of you who? The mother of my kids is a okay, police officer. Okay, I thought officer. you said one of your kids. No, no, I was no, like, nigga, you kid. got a kid? That's a police no, 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 no. officer. Well, my, well, well my, uh, uh, Slim Brother's son's a police officer. Okay. Yeah, he's a police officer, so, you know. But my thing is this, though. Being a police officer, it's a hard job. I understand it's, it's, a, it's a tough job. But my thing is, statistics say one thing, but what do your eyes tell you? You should be able to, you should be able to, you should be able to assess the situation. It's okay to put people in a box, but you should be able to assess the situation like, okay, you got to identify the room. Like, that should be a part of police training, whether it is or not. I'm sure it is. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're already going in thinking that this kid is a problem, the moment you see something, you automatically prejudice towards this one person already because of how he looks. So, so. But that's just like, but that's just like saying two black kids, two white kids. You take the black kids out. Two kids with dreads, two kids without dreads. You take the two kids with dreads out. That's still a form of prejudice. Fuck what, fuck what statistics say. I agree with because, you. I'm not you know, disagreeing with you on that. That's why we're being locked up at such a high rate because of those statistics, those beliefs of these type of kids that's, are threats. That's what like, I'm you know saying. what I'm saying? Because so therefore, you he part of the, the fucking threat. problem. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Let's take a look at this, okay? You remember they had a robbery ring and I made my son cut his hair off and he's mm -hmm. pissed off with me about that, right? My son actually growing his hair now and yeah. one of my sons has, you know, plaits right now. So. I, I made my son cut his hair off because I um 
after this conversation, well, we just had this conversation, but I had it, I had it with another one, mm -hmm. with another guy. And one of the things I realized, I was looking at the news and I'm like, damn, this is a consistent theme. This fucking hair. The way they have, so I'm telling him, you are gonna get profiled by your hair. So when you get when you get old enough or when I change my mind, you can grow your damn hair back. Right now, you cutting that shit off. So I, I made him cut his hair off. Um, and and he, he he's really kind of angry with me about that, which I don't give a damn. He'll be all right. <laughs> um, you know, shit. We start it's taking care of himself. He gonna right, it's do what he need to do. So, but um, but but let me let me. This is my thing on this. <clears throat> Even though you may be a trained professional, and you see things, you should be able to objectively identify and assess a situation. Right. The reality of it is, we all have some form of bias in us. Agreed. I don't care who you are. We have some form of prejudice in us. Everybody does. I gave you a perfect example of something. I, this has been probably 15, 20 years ago, well, about 16 years ago. I, I remember this like yesterday. I was um, kind of sponsoring some a drug program, right? And so I got into the elevator with this guy. Well, he got into the elevator first. Guy who I, one of, guy, one of the guys I sponsored, white guy, nice kid. Um, I got him a haircut and kind of got him together, helped him out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he got in the elevator before I did. And it's this elderly white lady in the elevator. She, Hi, she spoke to him so nicely, so eloquently. And she had her purse on her and, you know, she was so free with her purse. I got in the elevator and immediately, now mind you, let me let me let me give you the whole pitch. When I got in the elevator, I probably got a good hundred on my neck of seventy-five on this wrist, fifty on this wrist. I'm blinging as they come. I'm clean as they come. <laughs> I'm goddamn a walking billboard for fly. Like a new time. You understand me? Hey man, I could. I'm tell, when I tell you I was fly, I was fly. Smelling good, Creed Cologne. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Shout still Creed, 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 still Creed events it. to this day. You know what I'm saying? But check this out. So I get in immediately. She's like, damn, this is the motherfucker that's gonna rob you. But my black skin was my sin. So subconsciously, I don't think she even mentioned. I, I told her to her. I told her. I said, ma'am, what made you clutch your purse? Did you think I was gonna rob you? I took some money out of my pocket and told her you need to put some in your purse. Because I already knew she was coming from um one of the little immigration things up there. Right. I'm like, shit, so if you're coming over here, you probably, you know, ain't doing all that great. It wasn't no immigration place. It was a, it was like, it wasn't a welfare office. It was so you one just, of them government so, offices. So you just hit it you know with the press back since you're over you ain't doing that well. So, so yeah, so I, 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 I shoot back at her. I shoot my racism back at her. You know what I'm saying? I shoot my press. You shot your classism back. I shoot I, my classism back. I gave her $100. I told her, put that in your purse so you don't clutch it to me. So you don't then clutch you it to me. you tipped the bitch. You know what I mean? So, you tough. But she... She was scared to take the $100. And I was sitting there watching to see what she, I said, you sure? She looked, thank you. She put it in her purse. Mm, boy, look at here. This is how they see us. So, okay. So, who do you, who, if, if we had to place blame, who do we place blame on for us being betrayed in that life? Because I think the media does a horrible job of depicting black people, number one. Like, mm -hmm. I think movies, everything, like, you know what I'm saying, they, they they do a horrible job at depicting us and, you know, portraying us. So, therefore, the the rhetoric about us is that we're all savages, that we're all this, we're all that. Like, you know, some of the behavior that we portray sometimes is, you know, not great. Understood. That. I agree. And but, I, I think we but, I think we follow I think but we the circumstances, live up to some of that but shit. But I'm saying but the circumstances that we have been um left to deal with, you know it it we have what what we said, um a couple hundred billionaires in the world and we only got what, three, four, six black people? Like uh, we only uh, we not we don't even account for one percent of the world's wealth, like we less than one percent of the world's no, wealth. No, that's not true. We we if if we were a country in the United States as black, just African Americans, I think we'd have the the twelfth strongest economy in the world. 
So no, we're if we strong. if we spent it with each other, we have the highest spending power. We don't have the highest keeping power. We don't have the wealth. The wealth we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom of the wealth pole. Oh, I'm so, I, 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 speaking of that. We ain't gonna the get spending. On this, this gonna be a whole spending other, is number one. Yeah, this is gonna be a you whole other topic because to see what's happened now is everybody wanted to go into the rental car business. Everybody wanted to get Airbnbs. Everybody, you know, was just balling out of control. It's goddamn PPP money done dried up on you niggas ass. Let's see if y'all got some stand power. Do you got some real hustling? Right. You know but, what but I mean? But that's because what I'm saying though. So everybody you know, is everybody can blow money. Everybody can't grow money. Right. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It don't and take everybody won't blow money, but that's part of, you know, what we become. I was just talking to the homies in the hood the other day, man. Like, y'all, like, we have been trained like spending the most is the coolest shit ever. And that's not what it's supposed to be. Nobody but us going to a goddamn strip club and Right. Oh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars in there. Just get away, but we're, but me just blew a quarter mil. But we refuse to go give it to a nonprofit organization <laughs> yeah. to do some real change. You know what I'm saying they rather go blow it in a strip club just to say I blew it in a strip club. Like it's just it's bad for yeah, me. Gotta, I spend each other. Shout out to my partner Al over there. You know he's <laughs> hey man. I got shout out to him. You sent a bunch of you sent a bunch of them bras to college back in the day. Paid for man. college, uh, you know, he, he, he paid a lot. Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you a real story. He said he it's, paid it's, a lot. Damn. Hey, man. listen, this is true, man. You know, you know, I don't hold no punches. I'm, I'm gonna be 100. Al over here. So one of the strippers came and told me, "You gotta get him. He buying asses. He buying titties. He buying drinks. He buy food. He throwing money." She said he done spent a half a million in the past three, four months. I said, "I don't believe that." I said, "Al, the girl said you done spent a half a million in the past three, four months." She said, "Man, that bitch don't know nothing about no money. I might have spent two fifty, three hundred, but I ain't." Spent no <laughs> Man sitting in the chair right there. I can't make this shit up. Damn, man. Al was Ain't nothing wrong with Al. Hey, man. Hey, Al was making it rain. But, you know, like Al, I said. Al, would you ever do some shit like that again? Yeah. <laughs> right. But, you know, like I said, but that just, that just, <laughs> I don't know why it's like that, but it's just like that. That's fucked up, though. So, but, but what I was saying on that, though, man, is like, let's just go back. Uh, are they wrong? Absolutely. They're Very 100% wrong. wrong. But they have been conditioned to believe that we're animals and, and you know, we're savages. That's fucked up. And they didn't make a con- had they made a conscious decision, had they walked up on that, it would have been different. They were moving at a fast pace, and their subconscious mind took over, and they made a decision. Her knee on on the kid. Yeah. Yeah, they had plenty of time to think before they walked up. Cause nothing about that, nothing about that white boy like he needed protection. Nothing about that that pitch. That's why that's why I disagree with you because you like according to what you said, you said the five second versus the twenty seconds. Because if twenty seconds of view was something, you should be able to get it right. But and know, I feel think, like they had more than twenty seconds to view that to but, get that but right. She was still in the moment. Of, oh my God, white kid, sit down. I mean, but once this again, this savage though, at, nigger at, is but, trying to hurt but you. But at what point? At, oh but my at, God! But at what point did you view it? You're you're here to protect and serve. Your first job is to protect, as a police officer, not arrest, not investigate. Your first job is to protect. We're gonna, we're gonna bring a police officer. We got to. And, and, your and your and first job is to protect. Because police are not bad. We know that's that. what I'm saying. No, I agree. Our police is not bad. But your first job, if your first job is to protect. Who are you protecting that situation? Because the immediate threat was standing up over somebody else. And did you see the kids stand up and look like? Yeah, like kids. like yeah, they on my team. Like you said, I don't know what the black kid is. I don't know why he I was there. I think the other kid is actually a Pakistani kid. I think he's Pakistani and Colombian. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know any details why he was there. Maybe he was there around. I don't know what he was there doing. I don't know what he was there for. Maybe that was the white boy defending. I don't know what he was there for. Like you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But based on what I seen in that in that the little little minute video we saw that the world is saying, they were out of line. That's my opinion. Okay. Okay. We'll take so, that. You know. So hmm. it's getting late. It's been yeah, real. Gonna, you know, we we <laughs> we didn't have much. We just gonna we're gonna keep adding shit, keep putting things in uh, you know, keep putting it up, you know, and see where we can go with this. Man, we just really have fun with this shit. Dre high today too again, you know, just let y'all know. But I'm know. more focused than I was yeah, last time. He's a little bit more focused than he was, you know what I mean? But I smell it, you know what I mean? So it's uh, it's one of those things. That's, That's that good, good shit, though. Is that good shit? That good shit. Hey, they had some shit at my party that was so good I got high just by smelling people's clothes. Mm. And I, I wasn't th- trying. I don't think that's um, marijuana-ly possible, but, you know, I'll let you I'm telling it. you, it's marijuana-ly possible. <laughs> I don't think it's marijuana-ly possible. Hey, they, with the, the girl, no, she was drunk. This little bitch was on fire, didn't even realize it. Wow. <laughs> just, 
No, for real. Like, she was literally got the candle, got her clothes in the candle, and she was just sitting there, and somebody had to tell her she was on fire. You got it? Oh, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, I don't need to be coming to y'all party. Y'all go too motherfucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got that in me no more. <laughs> so, hey, man, I had a hell of a birthday weekend. Let us know what y'all think about some of this, man. Um, um, I'm, 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 I'm a huge advocate of the Second Amendment. I think you should have the right to bear arms. And I hate that I have got a, I am a convicted felon now, and I cannot. That is a horrible thing. It is. Because now you have told me I can't defend myself. You're not a citizen anymore. People. That's the fucked up part about being in front of They consider you not a citizen. They take your voting rights. They take your gun rights. They take all your rights. Like, that's the part I think we need to get away from. Like, a mistake shouldn't cost you the rest of your life. I agree. We're going to talk about that on another show because, you know, we speak of forgiveness. But once you get in the criminal just, the justice system, there you never forgive him because every time, anything you do, that your past comes back to and hunt And not you. only that. According to the Constitution, your 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 conviction it immediately kicks you back to slavery, like and it kicks you back to slavery. Like, that should not even be a part of anything somebody else did. I don't fuck what you did. That language, that lingo, should not be nowhere in the Constitution. That you know. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Look at the cameras, right? Yeah. That's some shit we got to work on. Yeah, we got to fix a lot of shit. That's man. some shit we got to fix. But you know, we got the power to fix it. That. Take it. Take us as 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 black people, man. You know, like we got to do better within our own community before we can go ask somebody else to do something for us. So we got to get better with that. That's what I'm on. I I'm, need, I'm definitely on. That. I need I need everybody to do their part, man. Everybody do their part in building, man. We can go, we can get some shit done. Well, when you say everybody do their part, right? Yeah. Fortunately, you had to go to jail to read. Right. Okay. A lot of people are not into educating themselves. And I think, you know, from whether it be, I'm not going to speak on you. I'm going to speak on me. I know I haven't done my part um, to really reach back and, right. and, 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 and educate some of the, some of the youngs. You know, um, but, but doing your part for me sometimes is being an example. I like, agree. you know what I'm saying? Like, because you know, I always doing your, right, person. right. I always do. Cause like I said, you know, like, I just was spoke to the mayor at, at city council meeting not too long ago, and, like, I told him, like, you know, my thing is this, like, kids need to see the example of what the potential could be. Like, you know, there's not enough examples of, you know, of what life could be outside of, you know, picking up this gun or picking up this pack. You know what I'm saying? I don't think kids really understand the, the time frame that it takes to go be a lawyer or it takes to go be a doctor or it takes to go be just a real estate agent or whatever else outside of trying to make it big in a rap game, outside of trying to make it big in a dope game, outside of trying to make be the best robber, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it's risk versus reward. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's instantaneous, right. and we're in a microwave society. Right, facts. So everybody want to just take something and ball right away so I can go on Instagram and show you but what if, I stole but if, so but they if, can use but it if, to take if, me if, if, if you reach kids before that point, like we reach kids and give them something to hope for, because if that's all they see, if they, all they see is the drug dealer, if all they see is the the jackers without, you know what I'm saying? And that's the life you're going to aspire to be because you feel like that's what success looks like. You know what I'm saying? Versus seeing somebody that's successful at selling cars, that's successful at doing hair, whatever it is, you give them something else to look forward to. So that's what I'm on right now. Well, I love it. <laughs> that's what I'm on. I'll make sure I be a, 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 a hell of a lot more of a part of what yeah, you want. Like I said, just So be right now, what I'm man. on is making sure I can do the, be the best me to inspire them to do better. To Facts. say, you know what I'm saying? I and know that's, this that's, a that's real part street nigga. I know this nigga who got a nigga who's a convicted felon, um, and he's moving in a different lane. And, right. Uh, so hopefully, you know, Somebody will look at that and say, you know what, I can do it. And right. that's normally how we get inspired. And it's not hard. People just got to think everything is so hard. It's not hard, man. Just easy to go rob that bank. It's easier to go, you know, put some shit together and go get some real money. So before we go, I'm going to tell you about robbing a bank. Uh-oh. No, seriously. If you go in and rob a bank, most of these banks probably got on hand anywhere from twenty to $75,000. The likelihood of you getting more than that is highly unlikely. And I had to learn that. When I had to go to the bank myself and to get my money own out. money right. out, <laughs> right. and I I thought I could just go in here and tell them give me two hundred thousand dollars, and they told me they had to order it. I'm like shit, y'all. The bank? What you mean? You got to order? You ain't got the money? It's my down. money. I got it in here. That ain't how it worked. So the reason I'm bringing this story up is, I'm I'm okay. Shit, I I didn't did it now. <laughs> I went in the bank and robbed them, and they offered me cokes and water and coffee. <laughs> the gentleman so, way <laughs> So You didn't have to go in And actually Put a gun to the head I right. promise you You'll get more If you learn how to Put a corp together Get your credit right And go in And sit down And talk to these people And 
and understand what you know what sit codes are and understand what industry you need to be in. And I, matter of fact, I'm gonna start making sure I put this link at the bottom so y'all can holler at me. I'm gonna get y'all this game, man. Yes, for a sir. small fee, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Game is to be sold, not yes, told. Sir. I can't give it away no more. Y'all got to break bread now. Yes, sir. But with all that being said, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Cole. And this is Dre. We out. Peace. Hey. Hey, man, what time it is, man? Hey. What you talking about? about? Boy, listen and pay attention to what we talking about. We can show you how to make a hundred thousand in the drop. Happy old man come on. But that nigga ain't no father of mine. The only thing on my mental is to get in contact with my son and right my wrongs. That shit ain't stop my mama from getting killed. You stole him from me with that fucking kid. I'm glad he out and all that. I need you to keep him out the way for me. Out the way? <laughs> that nigga just got home. We already got you shook. All I'm saying is. This new plug we have, shit, the whole team gonna eat. Just make sure you do it. Because if you don't, you Man, listen to me, Jay. I'm offering you Jordan three days to pay that money back in full. Oh, he canceled. No bullshit. The only way to get revenge for family oh. is through family.